friends welcome to happy nursing this is ila in our previous video we discussed about the concepts of betty newman's theory now coming to the sub concepts we were very often talking about stressors so what is a stressor a stressor is any phenomenon that might penetrate both the flexible and normal line of defense resulting in either a positive or negative outcome so what we have learned so far we have a basic structure which is protected by the lines of resistance normal line of defense and flexible line of defense and this is an open system now anything which come and break these lines of protection are or lines of resistance will be called as a stressor it can have positive as well as negative outcomes depending on the perception of a person for example someone challenged me regarding something i am very brave and adventurous i took the challenge sportingly that is a positive effect and someone becomes tensed for the challenge that is a negative effect stressors can be of three different types intrapersonal interpersonal and extrapersonal intrapersonal stressors are those that occur within the client system boundary and correlate with the internal environment it occurs within the system means it occurs within us for example i have done something wrong but nobody knows about it everyone is being perfectly fine to me but still in my mind i am continuously thinking about that and being stressed up this is correlating with my internal environment i am disturbed that's why i am thinking all this that's why i am stressed okay so that is intrapersonal stressor next is interpersonal stressors they occur outside the client system boundary are proximal to the system and impact the system it will be something outside us but proximal to our system proximal means which is nearer for example there is a fight between me and my friend unlike the intrapersonal one this is happening outside my system but is closely related to me so it's obviously having an impact on me the last one is extra personal stressors they also occur outside the client system boundaries but are at a greater distance from the system than are interpersonal stressors for example when we started getting the news of covid outbreak in the beginning maybe it did not affected us but it created a stress for us now this is happening outside my system and this is not close to my system like the interpersonal was because there i was involved there i was an interaction between me and my friend there was a fight obviously i was involved so it was close to me but here i am not involved so it is at a greater distance from me still i am stressed so that is extra personal stressors next is stability stability is a state of balance or harmony which occurs as the client copes with the stressors this is self explanatory when we cope up with the problems we have automatically what happens we regain our health or integrity either physical or mental and that is a state of balance or equilibrium between the internal environment within us and external environment around us next is degree of reaction it is the amount of system instability resulting from stressor invasion of the normal line of defense see when our lines of defense get invaded by the stressors we give out some reactions for example sticking to my former example i do yoga to keep myself calm when my yoga routine is missed my flexible line of defense is activated i may snap out a little bit here and there on a few people and then later apologize to them then when my normal line of defense also gets penetrated means i actually get any mental problem what happens i may snap out very often behave rude to others so that degree of snapping out at others is increasing that is the amount of instability of my system thus degree of reaction next is entropy it is a process of energy depletion and disorganization moving the system toward illness or possible death when our energy is not enough to handle the stressors our system moves towards illness and death can also occur if the proper energy resources are not available that is if proper treatment is not provided for example this is a very familiar situation we often take over the counter medicines for many of our problems right so suppose i have a flexible line of defense around me that is i take painkillers regularly suddenly i stop taking them my flexible line of defense gets invaded then i try to divert myself and tolerate the pain and i did it for some days but then that is also not possible 
normal line of defense also gets invaded. Now I am moving towards illness. Now the lines of resistance are my last shield. My body will raise my heartbeat, increase my body temperature to compensate with the pain. But that will also not be enough at one point of time. So the situation where the available energy is not useful anymore and this whole process of our system slowly getting disorganized is called the entropy. Next is negentropy. It is an energy conservation process where the system moves towards stability or a higher degree of wellness. Considering the above example again, if my home remedies or my body mechanisms or any additional treatment works for me and helps to conserve my energy and gives relief from my pain, that will be negentropy. Next is input output. In this whole process, the energy and information are continuously exchanged between the client and environment, entering or leaving the system at any point in time. So that is the process of input and output. Next is reconstitution. It is the return and maintenance of system stability following treatment of stressor reaction, which may result in a higher or lower wellness level. After getting treatment, my health is improved and I am slowly getting back to my previous structure, that which was not invaded, which was stable before. Now it can be a higher wellness level or a lower wellness level. My pain can be completely gone or it may be present occasionally. But I am able to continue my daily work routine with medications. So I am regaining my stability, that is reconstitution. Next is prevention as intervention. We have discussed earlier, it can be of three types, primary, secondary and tertiary. Primary prevention occurs even before any stressor affects the system. It focuses on strengthening the flexible line of defense through preventing stress and reducing risk factors. For example, the yoga and meditation routine which I follow. Suppose I have a family history of mental problems. So I do all these things even before I have any kind of mental problem in order to prevent it. That is primary prevention. Next is secondary prevention. It occurs after the stressors have already invaded our system. For example, after getting any actual mental problem, I am not able to sleep properly. But what will happen? My serotonin level will increase far more than normal. That means my lines of resistance are activated. I have to strengthen them. How? Through treatment. So that I can get back to the state of reconstitution. Next is tertiary prevention. It occurs after the system has been introduced once to secondary prevention measures. For example, in the previous example, I told you I already started taking treatment. Now the purpose of tertiary prevention is to maintain wellness or protect the client system reconstitution by supporting existing strengths and preserving energy. That means after I started taking the treatment, I will take some additional measures so that I don't sleep back or fall back to the illness once again. Like in the secondary step, I was taking medicines to regulate my sleep. Now in the tertiary step, I will avoid sleeping during daytime, try to maintain a calm and cool environment before sleeping, maybe take some hot milk and cut out on alcohol before sleeping, follow a fixed routine of exercise throughout the day so that I can fall asleep easily when it comes to that, etc. All these are my tertiary intervention. Remember here I have used the example of a psychological disease. That's why I have continued with that. The same things are applicable for any physiological disease also. So we have studied the subconcepts of Newman system model today. Let's recapitulate once again before ending the video. The subconcepts are stressor which is causing a problem to us and invading our system. It may be intrapersonal, interpersonal and extrapersonal. Stability which is a state of balance or harmony between our internal and external environment. Degree of reaction which is the amount of system instability we face when our system gets invaded. Entropy, a process of disorganization moving the system towards illness or possible death. Negentropy, energy conservation process where the system moves towards stability. Input output, the process of exchanging energy and information between the client and environment. Reconstitution, which is the return of system stability. It can be a higher wellness level or a lower wellness level. Lastly, prevention, which can be of three types. Primary prevention, 
which is taken even before any problem has occurred, secondary prevention, taken after a stressor has invaded our system and tertiary prevention, the additional measures to prevent the system from falling back to the stage of illness. I hope this model is clear to you. If you find this video useful, then like and share this video and subscribe my channel. Meet you in the next video. Thank you for watching.